Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Friday flood media update uh, for Sac County. Uh, my name is Dave Donovan. I am the Emergency Management Director for Scott County here in Davenport, Iowa. Uh, with that, again, regional status report, just in general terms, uh, critical infrastructure items, power, um, the power remains on for um, they're virtually all areas of um, Scott County. Uh, there are individual properties that are impacted by flooding that may have power off at this point. Um, from a safety standpoint, those are evaluated on an individual property by property uh, basis. Um, water, uh, Iowa American Water is our water provider for most of uh, Scott County, uh, certainly all of Davenport, all of Bettendorf, uh, many other communities. Uh, they remain in full production. Um, they partnered with the Corps of Engineers um, some eight years ago and completed a substantial uh, mitigation project which provides them flood protection uh, well beyond, several feet beyond any um, crest that we would ever expect to, to see. Um, they do have gates uh, in that flood protection and those gates, gates um, are part of the system. Those gates are closed uh, to prevent water incursion. Uh, they do have um, they have a little bit of seepage from uh, stormwater uh, drain that they have uh, successfully uh, mitigated with a small pump to pump those waters out and uh, they have uh, sandbags in place at those gates which is part of their normal flood protection effort. Uh, sewer, uh, Davenport uh, Wastewater Treatment Plant is the regional provider uh, providing uh, wastewater uh, services for all of Davenport, all of Bettendorf, uh, the cities of Riverdale and Panorama Park further to the north. Uh, that plant remains in production. Um, we um, continue to monitor the situation there. Um, with uh, subsequent higher um, crest, we may become concerned, but uh, currently uh, it is stable, it is uh, operational, um, and we continue to uh, treat water at this time. Um, berms, temporary walls, uh, we continue to monitor several locations, both within the city of Davenport as well as in, within other communities in Scott County. Um, right now, um, our flood protection measures are holding. Um, we continue to monitor that. We have uh, persons monitoring that 24-7 uh, uh, throughout the area, both within the city of Davenport as well as other communities. Uh, Decker Plains here also to speak about the impacts to the city of Bettendorf. Thanks, Dave. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we currently have uh, uh, about 4,000 filled sandbags on hand and ready for distribution. Uh, we've got about seven trucks fully loaded uh, to take anywhere that we need to take them. We did take some bags this morning to Buffalo. Uh, we take them to City Downport if we need and we take care of our needs as well. Uh, today we had about 60 volunteers from Pleasant Valley uh, High School uh, filling bags with us today and there were Chick-fil-A grinders and Happy Joes so uh, we'll announce to you the next time uh, that we have uh, sandbagging operations so you can help yourself. Um, we, uh, we got about six semi loads of additional sand today. Uh, we're probably not going to do sandbagging over the weekend. We've taken care of all of our needs unless something comes up that we need to, uh, to deal with. Uh, we have currently uh, 14 pumps, sanitary sewer pumps placed throughout the downtown area uh, and they're pumping 24-7 got crews that take care of those. Uh, we think we're removing from the system about 24 million gallons a day um, in doing that. Uh, the top half of the flood wall at Leach Park has been raised. Uh, we're protected now to 28 feet. Uh, the 28,000 pound gate has been installed uh, at Leach Park and the railroad track gate at 10th Street has been closed and sealed and we have a temporary dike at A Street and despite some rumors on social media uh, we do not have problems at that dike. Uh, we're manning that 24-7 uh, with the CP rail uh, assisting us. We have eight three-inch pumps there and one eight-inch pump there that uh, are handling everything there. So we're very confident that uh, A Street Dyke is not an issue. Uh, we've got a couple other places where we have sandbag walls uh, that we man as well. Uh, the trail, the riverfront trail is open until you get to uh, A Street and then uh, turn around and go back. So. The riverfront trail is open from A Street back to 
uh, 42nd Street and uh, all the way up to just about Pigeon Creek Park. Um, I think uh, Harbor Drive is probably the strongest residential area we're protecting, uh, about 50 homes up there. Uh, we've placed about 45,000 sandbags uh, with those residents up there. They call us when they need it. They're pretty self-sufficient. Uh, they've lived on the river a long time. Uh, so we deliver bags to them and they're taking them to their residences in uh, flat bottom boats with jet skis and they man themselves so um, But we provide all that as is Riverbend Road. So um, With that, I don't think you have any more information and we'll wait for questions into the, yeah, in the ground Correct in the, ground. In the yes. ground. Yeah, 40 and feet then, down in the ground. And then Decker when you were saying about the sanitary sewer uh, 14 sanitary sewer pipes removing 24 million gallons can you explain where that is? So, at that the, was related to at that, the plant. Right? At the plant, yeah, is an eight-foot diameter pipe. Yeah, pretty good size. That gate is gate. shutting that flow yeah. down. It pushes it back into those pipes. Everybody in both towns is still using the system. So, the effluent is going down into the pipes, trying to go to the plant. It can't get to the plant because the plant is only able to process that certain amount. Those lines begin to back up and we are in Bettendorf pumping into the storm system, into the river, to relieve the pressure on the system and allow everybody to continue to use it. Yeah. Because we're drier than the city is now and we can pump in locations to be able to remove that and relieve the pressure on the system and that's what we're doing. So they don't back up into people's houses Correct. or businesses. Correct. Yeah. And, and allows us to keep the pressure at the plant at a manageable level yeah. to process what we can at the plant and keep that system yeah. viable. Yeah. It's very important that the system stay viable for all of us uh, because if we lose the plant, yeah. that's a huge yeah. cost to restart that plant up. So, so we're providing the mechanism of, of relieving the pressure as well as allowing everybody to use the system like they would normally every day. Yeah. Okay. About how long do you think you'll have to be doing that? Is it through flood stage, which could be like the next 30 days? Yeah, we've been at this probably three weeks, uh, <coughs> probably somewhere around 18 feet. Uh, the, the, there's two culprits here, the river water getting in and then all of the storm water from all the rains. Because those all go into sump pumps. Lots of people have sump pumps in their basements that discharge into the sanitary system, which is what we're trying to get out. So uh, that's a problem. Rain infiltration into some of the lines along the creekways where all these things follow gravity to the, to the creek, to the river, and then down to the plant. So it's, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of dynamics that occur with this. And is this process the one that the, the county was talking about they had to get permission from the DNR for, or is it something separate? So that, that, is, the, that is the process, okay. right. You know how far along the city of Davenport is in getting rid of those connections between the sanitary and the storm sewers? So, do you want me to answer? Sure, if you know, yeah. So, <laughs> a, significant, a significant amount of work has been done by both cities over the last 10 years per, as part of the consent order that we have with the state DNR. Um, I would tell you, because I think I'm the only person in the room who was here in 1993, uh, we did this very thing in 93 uh, for a very long period of time and uh, we had backups uh, in Bettendorf along River Drive as you remember. Yeah. We have not had any backups to date uh, and we have not had any backups recently in the recent last two years I think and it's a direct result of all the improvements that are being made by the city of Davenport uh, primarily along the trunk line and the improvements that we're doing in our lines uh, that we felt had contributed to that flow. So um, this is a great effort between those of us that belong to the Wastewater Treatment Plant Coalition